cold today, huh, girly? <laughs> you all bundled up. Say Nice, he's got a little ro remote control airplane. Whee! Flying in the snow. Whee! So what I said yesterday about it being a gloomy, cold day, I'm pretty sure today wins. Check it out. Because it's actually snowing today. And uh, it's pretty darn chilly. The big white puffy coat means it's cold because this is my down coat and it keeps me very warm. That means it's chilly outside. Also, the snowflakes got bigger. These are actually sitting on the road. I hope it's not gonna make it uh, hard for me when I get off of work this evening. I will say that even though I've been living here for two and a half years, the snow still seems really pretty to me. Still puts a smile on my face every time it snows. It's just not something I'm used to being from Florida. I will say, though, that although I really do enjoy the snow, I think it's really pretty, and it puts a smile on my face, I really miss rain. And I'm not talking about like this drizzly winter rain. I'm talking about like summer thunderstorms. Florida, hard torrential downpours. And I know that seems crazy because in Florida it does that like every afternoon at 3 p.m. and you people are like, really, you wanna go back to that? But I do, I miss that. When, when you get away from that in a place where it hardly ever rains, because this is basically the desert slash prairie goes straight into the mountains so it never rains. You miss it. And the first summer I was here, we had lots of thunderstorms, lots of rain. So I, I thought that there was a normal Colorado summer, but this past year it was really dry. We didn't get nearly as many storms and it was really sad. All right, going to work in the middle of the flurry. Woohoo! Or as Love John Lovell would say, whoopoo! I wasn't quite expecting to leave work and uh, find this. It's so bright and sunny. That never happens. That shouldn't happen. That's weird. All right guys, so I had a kind of exciting day at work. A dumb criminal or stupid criminal story for you. All right, here it goes. Girl comes up to me in my line, says, I bought this pair of shoes the other day and they sold me the wrong shoes in the wrong box. And I called your 1-800 number and they said, oh, it's fine, just take it to the store, they'll take care of you. So she hands me the box, which first of all I notice it's a men's shoe, and she's a girl, and she's torn the sides off of it. Red flag number one. And then the glaring red flag was that she handed me her receipt, and guess who is the cashier that sold her those supposed wrong shoes? Me! Hmm. So let me give you a little background. I've worked at this store for roughly two years. I can tell you every single brand we sell, I can recognize every shoe we've carried. First of all, I noticed that the shoes in the box are not what was supposed to be in the box. She was right about that. But two, we don't carry that brand. Three, never seen the shoes in my life. Would never have sold them to her. So I sit there thinking a little bit. And I call my manager over, tell her the situation, tell her I know I didn't sell those shoes. So we do a little research and uh, we send her on her way. We take a copy of the receipt, first of all. We get her phone number and we tell her to, we'll call her later. I do a little thinking back on it and I actually happen to remember them because it was just earlier this week. Um, it was a, two girls that came in and I remember them because they were buying men's shoes instead of women's shoes and we have the same style in women's but they chose the men's one. So at, the, at first I thought they were buying it for their boyfriend or something but then when I checked the sizes they were an extremely small size so they were you know a size that a woman could wear. And they're a pretty expensive shoe and the shoe they were returning was not. It's probably a Payless shoe or something they got at Ross or something cheap. <laughs> so then I just started laughing because I remembered her. I remembered her and her accomplice. I distinctly remember selling them the shoe. I told my manager what shoe it actually was. So my manager had the copy of the receipt. So she just looked in our security video, looked up the time, could clearly see on the video that I sold them the right shoes. Dumb criminals. That she came back to me, the person that sold them the shoes in the first place. Not very smart. So I'm not quite sure what the outcome will be. They tried to call them, but it was a long distance number, so they had to call them from the office. But we have the security tapes that show me sh selling them the correct shoes. 
I remember them enough that I could even tell them what register I was on when I sold them. Um, I distinctly remember the girls gave a description of the girls to my managers. So I'm not sure what they'll do, um, but they were trying to get cash back for shoes that they actually did buy. So kind of interesting. Wish I was going to be there this afternoon to see the result, to see if she comes back in and what happens. But stupid, stupid criminal. That's all I have to say. My favorite part of the whole thing is that she came to me and she didn't even recognize me. It was only a couple days ago. It was the fourth. And in those few days, four days, she forgot what I look like. Or maybe she didn't think I would know it was me, but we have our cashier numbers on the receipt. So I saw my cashier number, knew it was immediately me, and then I started to remember her. So the fact that she was dumb enough to come back to me, it might have worked on somebody else, but the fact that she came to me. So the moral of the story is, just because I work in retail does not mean I'm a dummy. But you are. <laughs> Um, and she was totally not what I would expect someone that would be trying to pull fraud. Um, cute, cute little college age girl. Definitely not who would I would expect to be trying to rip off a shoe store. So that goes to show, criminals come from all walks of life. <laughs> Trust no one. Look at this. It's completely different than when I left for work just a couple of hours ago. It's crazy. It's such a nice day all of a sudden. I mean, it's still... 34 degrees, so it's not exactly warm, but it's warmer than it was earlier, but that's for sure. I ain't complaining. Well, it has just turned into a beautiful afternoon, evening, sunset time. Oh, it's nice having the sun out. Uh-uh, leave it, girly. I'm trying to get in trouble. Taking the dog out, so then Jeremy and I can go get dinner and go shopping and uh, enjoy a surprisingly beautiful evening. See, most of the snow has already melted. That's all that's left. Carly! Carly! I like to rile her up because she does some whippy running. Do some running. Do some goofy running. Come here, girl. Come here. <laughs> Did you find a stick? You found a stick, huh? Come here. Get you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> and she's done.